you the power of God I, I don't know but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels I just saw an anointing rest on you this role in the name of Jesus I don't know where you are but I pray may that grace now let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension in the name of Jesus Christ welcome to Christocentric message on this channel you are going to get soul lifting messages faith based content prayer drills and videos that would help you grow spiritually remember to subscribe to the channel like the video you are about to watch and comment on it stay blessed say it like you believe it your life is about to change god bless you please be seated hallelujah hallelujah i'm happy seeing everyone um we have a lot to do tonight thank you jesus and so we're going to trust god for speed hallelujah those outside uh, overflow one two three can you shout hallelujah praise the lord i'll teach for a few minutes and then we will pray hallelujah i want to share with us something tonight that i believe is very powerful oh, hallelujah praise the lord romans chapter 15 I welcome everyone this is our miracle service for the month of april and the lord will do us good romans chapter 15 and verse 4 i want to share a powerful principle seems to be a bit windy outside we apologize for those outside romans 15 and verse 4 are we there it says for whatsoever things were written aforetime it says were written for our learning that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture we might have hope whatever no just 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 verse four whatever has been written in other words every time you read the bible every story every epistle every letter in it is a revelation that is applicable the bible says that they are written for our learning meaning we can derive keys from these principles and we can trust god that by the application of the same we will experience triumph and tonight we are going to explore one of them in the name of jesus christ i prayed with all my heart for this meeting and i trusted the lord and i still do that he truly will visit us i think the worship team captured it in a most profound way all the issues that we may need the hand of God to come upon healing deliverance etc let's look at Joshua chapter 6 the book of Joshua chapter 6 there are a few lessons we can learn the Bible already records that everything that is written in the Bible is for our learning that through the comfort of scripture we might find hope joshua chapter 6 it's a very interesting story um the lord opened my eyes to a very deep mystery here and i want to share part of it with us verse 1 okay it's projected now jericho was straightly shut up why because the children because of the children of israel and it says none went out and none came in imagine ladies and gentlemen a situation where a city is shut nothing is allowed to go out through it nothing is allowed to come out it's a description of the lives of many people the bible says this city is shut in a way that nothing can go out and it means it cannot receive anything it cannot give and it cannot receive are we together now and then the bible says verse 2 and the lord said unto joshua see i have given into thy hand jericho and its king and the mighty men of Velum. this is god speaking verse 3 and ye shall compass the city 
all ye men of war and go round about the city once thus shall thou do six days verse 4 and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns and the seventh day he shall compass the city seven times and the priest shall blow the trumpets verse 6 and joshua the son of nun called the priests notice now and he said unto them take up the ark of the covenant and let seven priests bear trumpets of ram's horns before the ark of the lord now look up we're going to continue but the bible is describing something very interesting here do you know that the surprising thing about this scripture is that the purpose for fighting that land was not to occupy jericho the bible never said they fought and they said let's enter so what was it about jericho that they needed to destroy it to continue their journey i thought that they would fight god said i've given you the land how can you wait seven days fight defeat a city and then keep moving that meant jericho was not just a city Jericho represented something that was a deep mystery. The Bible says nothing could go into it and nothing could come out. Meaning if you found yourself in that city, there was no possibility of connection with any environment outside. Nothing could go out. Nothing could come in. Are we together? A city so fortified, the Bible says five chariots could hang on the fence of that city. And then joshua the son of Nun, notice the strategy in order to defeat this city he said i know you have men of war but now i need the priests not men of war gather the priests and then introduce the ark of the covenant and then surround keep going around that challenge with the ark notice this don't talk don't do anything just carry the ark and keep surrounding that city that is so fortified there is no human way of crumbling that city but he introduced the ark listen carefully and he said to carry that ark and for six days all i want you to do is to gather the priests the ones who mediate between god and man carry the ark a symbol of the strength and the presence of god because he was trying to show Joshua that what you see is not all there is. If you fight physically, there is a force that makes Jericho Jericho. And that even if you pass Jericho in peace, Jericho will not leave you in peace. Are you getting what I'm saying now? It was not the issue of occupying. Is that something needed to be broken in Jericho for their journey to be successful. A city you can't see the king you can't see the citizens but the city is fortified nothing can go out nothing can come in when the Lord look let me tell you something about God the tools that he uses tells you what challenge he's fighting when he went to Egypt he didn't say Moses let me show you how to use the sphere and a gun and whatever he said no egypt is not just egypt because they have men of war there are spirits and so take this rod now he's telling he's telling joshua joshua this challenge you see don't mind the physical size of the challenge there are entities that are standing there to make sure that no form of breakthrough comes no deliverance comes a city that stands as an altar within a territory and he says gather the priests i thought you would confront the king he said leave the king alone carry my presence carry the ark start going around and compass that was the language just keep going around that city with my presence don't utter a word let my presence keep going around six days this is what you will do and the bible says that they continued that way verse 11 so the ark of the lord compassed the city going about it once and they came into the camp and lodged in the camp verse 15 and it came to pass on the seventh day listen carefully 
that he rose up early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven days only that on that day they compassed the city seven times and it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the trumpet joshua said unto the people shout notice from day one to day seven no one was allowed to talk the only thing that was speaking was the ark it was a communication of spirits first there will be a participation but the physical only comes on the seventh day you start dealing with things physical no 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 let the ark speak what you cannot speak when the victory has been established by the ark your shout only manifested what sort of war do you fight with ark not swords parry the ark go round that challenge go round jericho what kind of mason what kind of engineer would deconstruct the blocks they were not held by cement and mortar they were held by covenants and ordinances he said only the ark can deal with this listen let me tell you this jericho is a representation of the kinds of situations of many people the the fortification is such that your shouting and trying to do all you know to do may not provide that solution are we together but the system here the first thing is look for the priest if you cannot find a priest then there cannot be victory you can find men of war but this one requires priesthood it is only priesthood that has the capacity to nullify the mystery that built Jericho are we together the Bible says here we have been made unto our God kings and priests there is an office of the priesthood of a believer and only that office is able to address certain intricate fortifications of darkness they would have shouted they would have tried fighting and they would have died i believe if they tried to fight jericho the men of jericho would not use swords the mystery that built jericho will fight them and yet on this occasion the lord tells joshua your sword is useful but now not for now your voice is useful but not for now go around jericho those walls you see were not just physical walls those walls the physical walls you see were a representation of something he said go around it tonight the lord has brought his presence and let me tell you what has been happening in this service is like taking the presence of god and going around situations you may not understand you were not designed to understand what the act speaks is a spirit communication there is a place where you shout with your intelligence but this warfare leave it for the ark and the covenant are we together there are languages over our lives and puzzles and mysteries that only the presence of god has a solution over the bible says so the people shouted verse 20 when the priests blew the trumpet and it came to pass when the people heard the sound of the trumpet the bible says the people shouted with a great shout and the wall fell down flat meaning it was built in a way and manner that it was not just by hands alone the walls that five chariots could stay sank something about the going around with the ark was doing something to the controlling powers that held that situation in other words the building was never the issue you will be deceived to think because the building is large it is a function of the engineering and here god is revealing and said joshua don't waste your time just like a situation that has been for 15 years 30 years and you may think because it has stayed so long it's just that those who have been fighting it have been fighting it physically let me tell you when the act goes round, it doesn't take long you will see a situation that you thought was so long crumble you will see joblessness all of a sudden crumble the assignment tonight is to find a priest 
take the ark blow the trumpet and let there be a shout and you will watch jericho notice the bible says when jericho fell down flat the bible says the people entered and killed everything inside and they carried the treasures so that city was fortified and god challenged them to destroy that but the city was holding a treasure that was needed for the next level of their lives there was wealth and blessing and the city would not allow anybody enter in or go out are you hearing what i'm saying and god said don't act like you would not need what is in jericho stay and destroy pay the price crumble the city pack the treasures and you will need it on your journey couldn't they have followed another route and passed the people since the people did not want to open and close it's a sign of peace i can just leave them but you leave them you will need the treasure that is in jericho because you see satan never has anything that is own it's his own everything he has he stole it are we together carry the ark it was a powerful revelation and i began to think about how many people try to fight battles physically how many people waste their time to try to manage things no the key is to tap into the mystery of priesthood a system that can talk to spirits a system that can challenge controlling powers the bible says for the weapons it says we wrestle not against flesh and blood we wrestle not against the annoying neighbor we wrestle not against the landlord we wrestle not against the joblessness situation in nigeria that every jericho has a force behind it you fight jericho physically you waste your time when you allow the ark fight before you come there the city has given you way you never enter a city until the ark defeats the city when you enter a city and try to fight the city will tear you into pieces because every city has gates spiritual fortifications there is the jericho of wealth and prosperity nothing comes in nothing goes out yet your treasure is there your life remains at a standstill because a fortification has been built so you don't challenge it spiritually so you go and start a business physical nothing works you leave the business and get a job physical nothing works after that you go and meet your uncle physical nothing works will you allow the ark to talk to the controlling powers are you getting what i'm saying now you want a job you carry your certificate and tell an uncle somewhere uncle sir i i want you to give me a job and he says bring your cv and you keep rejoicing for years that your cv is with someone and you keep it because until spirits are confronted there is no breakthrough believe what i tell you those who understand this keep triumphing cheaply by invoking the mystery of priesthood now the symbol of defeat for any people is the absence of a priesthood and the absence of an ark even if you have a sword if there is no priesthood and there is no ark there is no victory listen carefully the most important components to win the warfare of life is not the swords it's not the spheres it's not the business ideas it is the presence of a living priesthood and the presence of an ark hmm. not everybody can carry the ark everybody can benefit from the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark this is a mystery everybody is allowed to partake of the implications of the presence of the ark but not everybody can carry the ark if there is no priesthood then there is no ark then there is no victory even though there is an army even though there is a sword please hear me carefully some may trust in horses some may trust in chariots some may trust in certificates some may trust in human connections 
some may trust in business acumen some may trust in all kinds of things but i show you how we win in life it is the token of the priesthood the ark the trumpet it is not just physical things when the gates and the doors are fallen then your sword becomes useful are you seeing that you only submit the cv when the controlling power that stands from your village and has vowed that nobody who is through this bloodline will excel is a waste of time it is vain to wake up in the morning listen carefully and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrows those you see triumphing in life are men and women who have understood the mystery of the priesthood they always allow the priesthood and the ark to precede them they will fight but they know when to fight look at me i came tonight to deliver us from a life of hustling a life of doing physical things you would think i don't know what i'm saying many people will not listen you will get up please help those on that you will get up carry certificates around life is spiritual there is no jericho that does not have spirit until the ark goes before you and until the priest carries the ark there is no possibility of victory treasures in jericho but the door is closed your treasure you can't go in you can't come out are we together do you know there was a woman there who should be saved i'm not sure rahab you can see that rahab was part of god the army of god but listen the bible says that she was stuck there her too could not go out and come in for as long as she was in there she was called rahab the prostitute until she came out of that dungeon did she become one of the the, the genealogy the lineage of jesus for as long as some of our family members and there are situations that are left it's not only treasures that were carried there some persons were also rescued everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me we prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored listen to me. let me tell you this the more i understand the systems of the kingdom the more i see honestly that there is no hope of deliverance for many people until they find out these mysteries those who win in life are not the smartest those who win in life are not the most educated some of them by mercy they stumbled into these mysteries and you watch gates open and you are there with your knowledge wondering how unfair life can be jericho 45 nobody entered from your village your father tried fighting physically they destroyed him your mother tried doing business they destroyed her your siblings went to school god masters god phd the door said i don't open i don't receive and i don't give the lord said joshua stop wasting your time it's not about nigeria it's not about recession find a priest quickly find a priest one who is an act bearer don't just try to do it on your own I know you can fight but this is priesthood listen carefully it is the foolishness that has destroyed many proud people in our generation the bible says by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt it's not human worship it is the mystery of priesthood the priest the ark the trumpet equal to the falling of jericho when jericho falls you can fight with whatever you have when jericho falls your pure water can make you a millionaire because jericho has fallen when jericho falls one destiny helper is enough 
you don't need party when jericho falls one job can bless you but until jericho falls anything done outside it is a waste of time i never fight physically physical battles are the last it is foolish to begin your journey to victory fighting physically look at jesus on his way to the cross he spent time in gethsemane because he knew it was not about wood and nails it was about spirits satan came to him in matthew chapter 3 matthew chapter 4 satan left him came back to him in peter he defeated him came back in judas he left him something was playing out and jesus knew that he needed to settle certain things when he went to that cross satan did not know that certain dimensions of priesthood the order the protocol of priesthood had been kept let me tell you fear any man that understands priesthood even if he's a herbalist are you getting what i'm saying the people in the world know this and they triumph from one level of victory there are business people in this nation that will never do anything until they make sure there is an ordinance of priesthood that goes ahead of them life is too fierce to be physical no sir are we together you try getting a baby physically it doesn't work you go to the hospital doctors do their best it doesn't work you try and try let me tell you when you try a thing once twice three times it doesn't work just stop stop wasting your time stop immediately the bible did not tell us that one person was killed when jericho fell the people the same spirit that fell the land rendered the people helpless even the weakest of the members of the army killed somebody it was never about the sword it was about victory when the ark wins you win the only possibility for your failure is that the priesthood is not there show me the priesthood that has risen to speak over the ordinances our forefathers as uneducated as they were they understood the mystery of priesthood till today many of them we laugh at them yet they keep getting results everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored Listen, unto me the bible says everything written in scripture was for our learning that story was not just written there god intended that someone with the eyes of the spirit can see and teach a people that you don't win battles with swords swords only help you possess your possession swords only help you manifest victory they don't create victory what creates victory brothers and sisters is the priesthood and the ark what manifests victory is your sword it is true that the horse is prepared for battle but the horse does not fight until the priesthood goes the nation of israel will be going for war and they will carry swords and then they will carry priests with a trumpet look how silly it is to be going to fight they can wipe a whole nation yet there are some people with some irritating regalia and the painful part is they are never behind they are in front the priesthood they are afraid but they know what they carry they depend on the ark left for me you will kill me and the enemies are laughing and say you have come to fight us like this priesthood our generation is a very arrogant generation that's why we may never get results many young people just i'm not saying anything is wrong with intellectualism we have so we have demeaned ourselves from the reality of the realm of the spirit do you know you look at certain people and you are even annoyed because in all honesty you see the efforts i'm correcting you now you have been doing it wrongly 
you have been fighting a neighbor even if the neighbor leaves provided jericho is there it doesn't matter who comes back the battle is the same listen if jericho is still there leave zaria and travel to lagos leave zaria and go to us right from the 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 airport there trouble will meet you but crumble jericho and remain in your village and watch the booty of jericho look for you and come it is not by strength it is by strategy i show you a strategy tonight to command strange signs and wonders is the mystery of the priesthood do you know do you know why saul lost his throne are we bible students do you know why saul lost his throne who can tell me why he lost his throne saul did not lose his throne necessarily just because he offended god saul lost his throne because he, of, he offended a pattern an order of operation he waited there was a man occupying the priest prophet office who was supposed to be the one to offer incense and they waited for him and the king said look you are wasting our time the people are destroying me say ah, is it not the same god we all serve the same god and he offered the sacrifice and when samuel came he said no you have done foolishly if you allowed me to come god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this the throne is taken away from you just for the sin of violating priesthood a man lost his throne without knife no knife nobody fought him but he lost his throne david tried to do his best to still respect him he was sitting in a physical throne yet he had gotten up in the realm of the spirit show me the job in the realm of the spirit otherwise stop wasting your time with cvs around it will not work are you getting what i'm saying you just get up physically and go and harass your unbelieving loved ones i've come to you repent you must repent you are fighting physically and all of a sudden you receive casualties but when you invoke priesthood someone goes to bed in the night and sees a stranger coming and says it's time for your salvation and the person is already convicted here you come and you say look i want to talk to you about he helps you and say jesus i've been waiting because jericho has fallen are we together you meet your destiny helper jericho covers his eyes he is the one but he cannot see you and you pass but when jericho falls like the prodigal son as prodigal as that son was while the father saw him the father didn't even say so what have you been doing i hear you have been with pigs he held him he said leave the matter of the past now let me put a ring come be restored for by the arm of flesh koinonia will no man prevail you will never get a job just by physical pressing believe me you will never prosper just by doing all of these things there are many men of god some of you are here wonderful men of god they are trying to win the battle and rise in ministry physically please invite me here's my complimentary card i'm a sound man of god by god's grace i'm balanced i'm this and that and that you are and jericho is looking at you and say it doesn't happen that way jesus knew this imagine jesus going around and saying people come and listen to me for 30 years no one was interested in listening to him but when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood he came out of the waters a voice spoke hear ye him publicity or no publicity everywhere jesus went men followed him Are we are we together the bible says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness let me tell you many of you your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit but the system for translating it we are there wasting time doing a lot of things many of our loved ones some of you are here you thought that okay by the time you get a job it will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you 
all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you listen when you hear people testifying ah huh, try to understand what made the miracle work because most of what they were doing they had done it before master we have toiled all night jesus said no it's not nets that catches fish Abba, you've been with me you don't understand how this thing works master we have toiled all night he said but i know there is a relationship between you and that fish and jesus said cast your net the net will be casted but not before he speaks it is after he speaks the cv will be submitted but not before the priesthood it is after are we together you will try to have the child but when you continue the way you are doing you will keep miscarrying forever it's not an insult let me tell you this without the presence of god there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us is not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial Jesus has come to your heart, but he must come to your life. Just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free. Potentially, you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities. But Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says, having their understanding darkened. This is Paul teaching the church in Ephesus. He says, alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them having the the tragedy is not that god lied but that their understanding is darkened and so by reason of the darkened understanding they have been alienated from the experience of that life it's not enough to say jesus died it's not enough to say i'm born again if that were it brothers and sisters many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were i watch people under the influence of manipulations that are not of an earthly, an earthly origin and i watch the folly of men how we do our best i was once like that but no more i'm born again i've repented i've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically it has to be from the realm of the spirit first not from the realm of the spirit whether first or not the order is first from the realm of the spirit when you plant a seed it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there that is the part you cannot explain when it starts coming out you can now water it but the growth there doesn't need your watering listen there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights some of us will never experience progress in our lives we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night we are sincere but nothing is working are we together yes every time a blessing comes trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters I'm going to give you a job and you find out that Satan does not need to fight you. 
he already fought you with the presence of jericho and god said guys the goal is not to stay in jericho but you can't let jericho stand and reach where you are going don't pity it bring it down there is a don't just look at the fence there are captives in that place there are treasures in that place and he said let me show you it is not by physical fighting you don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters jericho sank flat the bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why i i told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here we're ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we are men of god we love god but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be there are people who have experienced the defeat of jericho but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused jericho to fall for them they just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory so they can trivialize the existence of jericho jericho is real if you don't see it in your life a priesthood already brought it down for you are you hearing what i'm saying but everyone who must pass remember israel is god's own people what is the business between israel and Jer they had conquered other nations what do they need the treasures of jericho when you read your bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation i fight i defeat jericho and i continue my journey but i carry rehab i carry treasures there is rehab there without rehab there is no jesus without rehab the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry rehab mm. we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is yahweh yahweh we look to yahweh yahweh Forever Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. We look We're soon going to pray the lord rejects saul as a king and now looks at david but there was no priest to confirm what god wanted the priest that was available still wanted saul and david could not be king god almighty had left saul and wanted david samuel said no i still want saul and God remain helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter you saw it in 2014 no priest 2015 no priest that your dreams show you eden your life shows you adulam there's a system of translation are we together and all of a sudden 
the Lord now spoke to Samuel. He didn't quarrel Samuel. He said, Samuel, how long will you keep weeping? Seeing that I have rejected Saul as king. Rise up, carry your horn. Go to the house of Jesse. Go and anoint the next king of Israel, paraphrasing. And David remained there. I'm sure David will be in the wilderness and say, when will my change come? The change was in a negotiation between God. God already intended in God's mind, this is the next king. And the king will sit with sheep and say, oh Lord, when will my breakthrough come? And God will say, the day a priest comes. All of a sudden, the priest agrees and God's will continues moving. A priest refuses and God remains. Moses was wise. He said, Lord, I already know you too well. Don't ever let us go here if your presence. If that act will not go before us, I'm not going. No. Moses said, because my going is as good as wasting my time. I, I, I know what is before us. And he said, my presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. Rest is a gift. Are you hearing what I'm saying? rest is a gift my presence will go with you and i through my presence will give you rest my presence will clear up the spirits and whatever you do when you read second chronicles 20 the same thing happened three kings came together to defeat the people of god and all of a sudden the bible says the priests and the musicians were now in front and they began to sing you are good and your message endure forever the ark started fighting them who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver and the bible says all of a sudden they turn can you imagine allies together when the ark starts fighting for you is fearful are we together fearful you are standing close to danger it never touches you before it touches you something touches it the priesthood the people started killing themselves and the bible says everyone helped to kill another that's not a man fighting that's the ark fighting and all of a sudden when the last two were left he killed one and the ark said what are you waiting for and he carried the knife killed himself and when the people came they found gold they found treasures when the ark fights it fights thoroughly when you fight if your hand paints you like moses and start going down you see that they can defeat you but you carry the ark and let it begin to fight they kept the ark and they kept dagon these people brought an entity a god enshrined with spirits called dagon the bible did not show us there were any physical contact by morning dagon fell face forward on the ground the superiority of the presence of god above any enchantment and any ordinance when you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by your cultism and all of these things prevail is because the ark has not been lifted tonight we have come in this place to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people to say lord if i want you for a few minutes just suspend the issue of job or whatever whether it is job or the issue of delay it is still the same jericho causing it any part of jericho is still jericho are you hearing what i'm saying the jericho that causes failure is the same Jericho that causes barrenness. It is still Jericho. The Bible didn't say Jericho. Do you know, look at the interesting thing. Jericho fell flat, but the woman who stayed in the fence, how God delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand. But the Bible tells us everything fell down flat. To break every chain, Break every chain. 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 
is to break every chain break every chain break every chain listen brothers and sisters we're about to pray but i plead with you in the name of the lord to believe this mystery as simple as it looks and you will watch the wonder in your life stop focusing on physical things you will cheat yourself a thousand times nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own if anything on earth stands there is a force keeping it there is power in the name of jesus there is power in the name of Jesus there is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain break every chain break every chain to break every chain break every chain break every chain break every chain listen the type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when Jericho is down. Anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen, I have seen anointed men and women of God. People I know love God with all their heart. But they can never prevail in ministry because they have been fighting physically. They do everything. And sometimes you wonder and say, ah, look how great this brother is. Look how great this sister is. Is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it? Hallelujah. Listen. People make all kinds of gifts for me, as you can imagine. People make all kinds of gifts. And sometimes I see what people do and I'm shocked. I say life is so unfair how can this brother this sister be this gifted and yet be begging and you see someone come out from somewhere and priesthood goes before him and in one week his life has changed they can even be sarcastic priesthood will make them take life for granted there is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life please hear me there are families here listening you have done all you know why don't you allow god allow the ark come into your home tonight and let it go around jericho allow the ark come into your life tonight let it go around jericho and you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself hallelujah I was told recently about a young man very nice wonderful young man who loves God everything you know in life including good things fighting and recently I think something happened they stole a phone and the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy and he was sitting down the man kept the phone there and police came and took two of them together I got a text the person sent me a text and when he narrated everything that was happening i usually don't call people back but i was touched i called him i said where are you he said apostle look at my life nothing works i said how did you get to the police station he said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him you think that's ordinary maybe that young man breakthrough is coming for him another thief from somewhere steals comes to drop a phone close to you does the police not have common sense to probe and they carry you together because there is a spirit coordinating this it looks like coincidence someone just falls from a chair just a little chair like this and all of a sudden one side of him paralyzes it's a lie it's not that chair that paralyzed him be smart people fell from trees plucking mangoes and they were fine they cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away you fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg no a a coincidence navigated the chair was just the scapegoat it's not about the chair 
tonight we are going to pray before i begin to minister you are going to say satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job i thought it was all about marriage i thought it was all about children i thought it was all about my background now i'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem provided jericho is standing there but joshua gather the priests gather the priests listen look at me i want you in the mind of your spirit look at that job issue look at that issue and say i will no longer be deceived you are not the problem the problem is jericho it is never that the business cannot work it is never that helpers cannot come once jericho is still standing here nothing can go in nothing can come out lift your voice and begin Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight, I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirit. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Listen, the Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man. The man, Jesus, he qualifies to be a priest, not the spirit, Jesus. The man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the Aaronic priesthood. The Bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of Melchizedek. A priesthood with no beginning, a priesthood with no end. That there is that eternal priesthood of Jesus. Listen carefully. We are talking about very deep foundational issues here. Jesus, the man, the priest that took his blood 
the bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all once and for all the advocacy of that priesthood is superior listen every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says thou listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon are we together and so the bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight you will not need it the moon the sun and moon they are important but i'm introducing something jehovah god himself will be the light that sponsors your altar the same way listen listen that men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and god says these things are inferior i come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness i am the light are we together i want you to be tired of what is happening in your life and family i tell you the truth when we begin to pray and i begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems your frustration continues i can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown of the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministering lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that asked it receive it lord visit the foundation why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery oh god lord why the circle of tragedies one tragedy after another one tragedy hallelujah 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 please just just be silent for a moment i want to start ministering now let's just the lord is giving me instructions just just be silent stand where you are um something is happening inside outside everywhere the lord is showing me something very strange now um let me just describe what i'm seeing i'm seeing something that looks like um this thing people wear what's the name this thing that looks like a um, ladies thing that men wear that that looks like a yes that that thing that's what i'm seeing on many people 
and the lord is telling me on everyone that i see that thing in there is a very strange deliverance because that i'm hearing hidden glory and i want to pray please you don't don't shout don't do anything just let me flow you start bringing those people out i'm going to pray now for those group of people i'm seeing it because i'm seeing that those people no matter what you do your glory is never seen you will struggle and try but nothing ever happens now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands just silence everywhere father i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an ark bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free restore their glory now hidden glory that's what i hear in the spirit hidden glory hidden glory there is glory but covered in jericho covered by the fence of jericho everywhere inside outside i'm praying now please just be sensitive let's let's do what god is directing us to do tonight there must be total victory total victory now i'm praying for families the anointing of god will come on individuals but it is for families it will come on you once that anointing comes on you now know that god is visiting your family lord i pray now i release the sword the sword of the lord in the name of jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they i decree and declare now by the anointing of the holy ghost Shakata parakata. i don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus i command now by the power of the holy ghost let there be emancipation emancipation for every family hidden glory hidden glory the bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and then we beheld his glory the lord is still touching people the lord is still touching people that's why you came you have done the listening let me pray now hallelujah lift your hands something serious is going to happen here now now i want to pray a very serious prayer the lord is leading me to pray this prayer i just had in my spirit altars of poverty hold on just keep your hands lifted father i'm praying you spoke to my ears altars of poverty if there is any family here in an ordinance under that cause nothing works there is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works in the name of jesus i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost let there be deliverance now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost altars of poverty everywhere overflow one overflow two overflow three online if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege 
I decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight. For all of you in front here, I speak to the spirits. You know my voice. In the name of Jesus and at the count of three, you let them go now. One, two, three, go, go. Out of them now. Out of every one of their destinies. Out of their lives. Shekatos Kabariata. I invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives. Release their families now. Release their destinies now. You know the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing a vision now you know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money that's what i'm seeing in the spirit like people with only trousers sold and money this is exchange of destinies i believe that this is very prophetic let me be honest i know some of you may not believe it but the destiny you are living is not your own a king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive there are men that exchange destinies they they a king carried his future and said child the death i'm supposed to die you die it there are people like that the destiny god allocated for you you know this is not your life your dreams and your vision show something else in the name of jesus pray now lift your hands i declare the spirits that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the Holy Ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated I command now at the count of three be set free one, two, three be free now be free now! Be free now! Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Hallelujah. Oh, Sephia, Sephia, Sephia. Like Sephia, I'm hearing a name, Sephia. Who is that, please? Let's, let's hurry up. There is a lot to do. I want us to settle down and really pray for the sick. Sephia, who is that? Her eyes, Hamalamanananamatia. Her eyes say, her eyes. Your name is Sophia. How about you, madam? The Lord will locate the person. I'm standing here and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord touching the person God wants me to speak to. Her eyes say, I'll pray for all of you but in the name of Jesus Christ I deliver this lady now this lady on red I command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone for you it's over now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I release you now by the power of the Holy Ghost by the anointing of the Holy Spirit be set free right now set here the Lord bring liberty liberty now I command those altars to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ the anointing of the Holy Ghost bad luck bad luck I take it out of your life
the spirit of i'm seeing a lot of bad luck i take it out of your life now release their destinies now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there is a lady a physical person appeared to you in the room this is a woman whose face you know like a relative physically where is that person please someone you were not dreaming appeared to you and there was a conversation from that day your life never became this please don't be ashamed i want to pray for you please don't waste our time we have a lot to do the lord is ministering to me someone appeared i'm not saying you were in a dream this thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical who is that person i want to pray for you please when you find that person let the person come quickly who is ola i'm hearing a name ola ola i don't know if that's the full name but there's ola o-l-a there's someone with that name ola please don't come out if it's not your name who is this huh your name is ola i want to pray for you look at me rejoice breakthrough has come to your family this lady i'm i'm kai look at the evil and the witchcraft i see over this lady's family all these people are please help me find out why are they here all of them their names are ola interesting come that lady with cap come your salvation has come come this lady with lift your hands over now over now over now calm down madam come i'm seeing what happened yes a woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be able to physical physically are you seeing what i'm saying look at this when was that last year may she appeared face to face and tell me it shall never will be able well to no matter how whatever you take that you are not feeling fine the medicine will not work and from that hold on from that day something started moving in your body yes. It will move and come to your back and come to your chest area. Look at this. Are, are you seeing a swelling here? You are seeing this? A woman appears to her. I prophesy to someone here. Jakas koto parakatia. Empre keto subataria talikata. Anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life, I curse those people now. I curse those people now. I curse those people now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Madam, I deliver you now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free now in the name of Jesus. The living and the dead don't have anything in common. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is speaking to me. There are some of you, all you see is dead people. All you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people i'm prophesying lift your hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now in the name of jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the holy ghost i command a separation now the spirit of hades i speak to you the spirit of hades christ has triumphed over you oh death Take away your sting. Take away your sting. Hallelujah. There are a number of you here. I presume you are all Ola, including this gentleman on wheelchair. That's your son. That's your brother. What happened to him? What happened to him? Accident. Since when? 2015. And he paralyzed you. You can't move now. Oh dear. We are going to pray for the sick. But I want to pray for Ola now. Just, just stand. Bring for me the person. I'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now. Aside from this lady, there is, there is an anointing coming on one of you. Let me speak to that one person right now. I'm seeing a closed door. This is someone's destiny. It looks like I'm holding the air, but I'm seeing that I'm holding a padlock in the spirit. Whose destiny is that? Among these people standing, open, 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 
open now. I command that destiny open. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You came alone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't worry, I'll pray for the sick, sir. If I'm if I don't talk, are you a last sir? No, don't don't come out until I ask you. This is witchcraft. You would have died since last year, June. Yes, sir. It's God that kept you. I will pray for you. I've seen your case already. If I don't pray for you in three months, you will not be walking again. This is stroke. What is wrong with you? Yes, sir. All my bad. This is what I'm saying. I'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again. We have to pray. This is witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want to pray for you. Come, my dear. This lady. I'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical, in the realm of the spirit. I'm seeing an old woman. Hold my hands. What fellowship. The exchangers of destiny. I hold the hands of this lady. And I declare right now in the name of Jesus. Let there be a restoration. A very beautiful girl in the physical. But I'm seeing the face of an old woman. Be free now. In the name of Jesus. I command the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life. I command that your destiny be restored. Your destiny be restored. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you standing here. My, my brother. This gentleman come. What's your name? What do you do? What do you do? I'm a printer. Sir. You are a what? Printer, printer. Nothing is working in your life. I need to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I break this embargo I see upon your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. This row, I'm seeing deliverance. Chicken feather. That's what I'm seeing. Chicken feather. This is an ordinance over a family. Just this row. I stretch my hands now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Kabaroko to sobaria talikata. Jakaske barika dosia napata. Let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be emancipation right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. All right. Mama, I know that it's not time to pray, but I want to pray for you. Please come, madam. You came alone. Let her come. You came alone. Yeah, so one of my uh, son friend brought me here. When you are talking, everything you say is just about as if you are. Where, where did you together. come from? I come from uh, Samaru. From of, Samaru. Um, Basawa. No problem, Mama. Yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've Thank seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The suffering. The suffering. The sorrow. The in my life, in my life must, end. must end. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I will eat. I will eat the fruit of my labor. The fruit of my labor. Father, by her confession, Amen. let her be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare that captivity is over. I pray for all of you now. In the name of Jesus, my dear, don't be embarrassed. Eh? Be careful with men. Come. I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people, but be careful. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. The deception and the wickedness of evildoers. I pray for you now. Every captivity in our last family, whether male or female, as I stretch my hands over you, I command that it leaves you now. It leaves your family now. I say it again. It leaves you now. It leaves your family now. In the name of Jesus. For the last time now, an anointing will come on you. It leaves you now. It leaves your family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, everybody. Gentlemen, when it's time to pray for the sick, we'll pray for you. Huh? Just be patient. Please help him so that he doesn't strain himself. All of you lift your hands. One scripture... And there is fire to deliver the oppressed now. Why are you here, my dear? You are with him? Oh, is your daddy? What? Okay. Since then, there is something that has been working on his body. Like you had an slave. accident? Yes, sir. 
Okay, and what happened? And since then, something has been working on his body, on his stomach, like snake. At times, the thing will... Are you seeing what I'm saying? So it was never about accident, you see. Accident was just the condition that made this happen. I saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again. But the Lord would destroy it, eh? Just be patient. We want to pray now. Let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray. Exodus chapter 15. Quickly please, 6 to 11. Exodus 15. We're going to do a quick walk. We need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, has dashed into pieces the enemy. Next verse, 211. And in the greatness of thy excellency, thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou sentest forth thy wrath, which consumed them as trouble. And with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood up right as an heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. To 11. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My lust shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw up my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Next verse. Thou didst blow with thy wind. And the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty water. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods? Who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness, comma, fearful in praises, doing, not delivering, doing wonders. That's what you are about to see now. Lift your hands. He said, I will pursue. I will overtake my lust. My desire will fall upon the people of God. I want to pray. Listen. Deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down. It's, it's, it's bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a parting, a separation. The Bible says the river separated Tita and Hitha. Separation to allow you move. I want to pray. Are you ready now? Remember that after they moved the seventh time, it was a shout, the healer, a shout, not just any shout, a shout that was sent like a word. And the Bible says the walls of Jericho fell down flat. That shout is what you are about to do. But let me issue a command in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, the one whom I serve and whose I am, in the name of Jesus, I declare over every force in the spirit, the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of God's people as they shout this shout, wherever they are, I command those spirits. He said, when they hear my voice, they will run out of their hiding. I command not only an exposition, but a total separation. Are you ready to shout Jesus? At the count of three, one, two, three. In the name of Jesus, I command that fire to fall. Every power, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment, every enchantment. Go now, go now, go now. Every enchantment, Kaparakato Soto Preketelekata. Every enchantment, every enchantment, be free now. Hold on. Hallelujah. I usually don't do this until I'm directed. Hallelujah. I usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right. I just want to pass through. You don't have to touch me. Except it is not God that has called this meeting. If there is a force and a spirit, it must be exposed as I pass you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I decree and declare right now, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, every power, every force, every power, every force, every power, every force, 
you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ those of you outside lift your hands lift your hands i'm going to pass here right now the anointing of the spirit is going to begin to come upon you are you ready now thank you jesus you don't have to touch me just just allow me pass be careful be careful father in jesus name let it be over now there is fire now that fire is moving all across now in the name of jesus ordinances be broken now i'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are in the name of jesus let there be freedom now let there be freedom now let there be freedom now be free now let it be over now 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 in the name of jesus christ be free now in the name of jesus as i'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the spirit of the lord is telling me to stand here right now in jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place i want to pray for you i'm standing here my god look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three shake it take a ta be free now be free now in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now be free now help them be free now lift your hands over flow three i'm praying for you are you ready to shout jesus again there are many of you you try to move forward but the force keeps holding you as you shout jesus now you're going to see something leave you are you ready father all those who have been held captive, i declare that as they shout jesus let your fire of deliverance come upon them one two three i release you now i release you now I release you now go forward i release you now delay broken i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen i'm going to pray for everybody but the lord is saying there are some of you here the call of god is upon your life but there are altars fighting you i'm about to release you oh god i'm seeing 17 one seven where are they oh god right now to the back where are they they have the call of god but an altar of darkness tying down their lives Mata soto kata. be free now hallelujah i'm going to pray for you look up please there are 11 of you the lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family and the anointing that anointing of that joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people lord where are they to the back right to the back that anointing 
a destiny is rising no even if you are the last born i decree and declare let that anointing find you now let that anointing find you now the joseph anointing the joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren hallelujah please lift your hands overflow three it's not about falling down although there are several things happening here but i want you to just focus the last prayer i want to pray for you many of you will be surprised what happens to you listen i'm seeing keys like a key that was missing some of you were once you were destined for certain things and the devil veered off your life and as it is right now the treasure that god gave you you have lost it as i pray for you that restoration anointing is coming upon you some of you is anointings some of you is business connections lord where are they at the count of three let that fire come shout jesus at the count of three one two three receive that grace now restoration fire 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 shake up butter please open your mouth and begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray great grace great grace great grace great grace new season, new season. mama look at me it's over over forever over 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 it's going to use you in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please everyone pray in the spirit. everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit everyone pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit please pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit overflow one pray in the spirit hallelujah praise the lord overflow one i want to minister to you now listen please i want you to believe everything i want to pray for you lift your hands all of you there are some of you here as i'm looking i'm just seeing chains i want to pray at the count of three i didn't come to waste your time right now that chain is going to leave people now anyone here under the sound of my voice and there is a chain of darkness overflow one i declare at the count of three right now let that chain be broken one I command that chain be broken now. Help them, please. Be broken now. To the back. Shakasko Pariata. Zato Kata. Be broken, broken. Fire is coming. I'm seeing fire moving across the crowd. In the name of Jesus Christ. I break every force, every yoke of darkness. Hallelujah. Are you pregnant? come i'm seeing an evil spirit let her go now in the name of jesus christ let her go by the anointing of the spirit i release the destiny of this baby you will not lose this baby in the name of jesus christ help her this lady, that lady praying in tongues in the name of jesus christ the grace for dreams and visions the Lord is releasing it upon you. Great for dreams and visions. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to walk across this crowd. Please. I just want you to release your faith. Release your faith and receive something now. As I walk through, I'm seeing altars and they are living right now. Thank you, Jesus. Father, let there be deliverance right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. 
right now let that fire as i move oh god let the angel of your presence move let there be deliverance it is over that's what the lord says to you over now in the name of jesus christ over 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 shabbos katai sheketis kalabra katoziata kata over now in the name of jesus over by the anointing of the holy ghost it is over please believe as i'm passing you don't don't worry the anointing of god will locate you over now in the name of jesus christ let it be over now now over your life let it be over i'm seeing fire moving here like this who is that fire for in jesus name i stretch my hands let there be deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now supernatural deliverance right now mama be free now in the name of jesus christ supernatural deliverance um i'm seeing a circle here and the lord is saying restoration of ministerial anointing a circle lord where are they there are people here at least four of you i stretch my hands let the anointing locate you the call for ministry the call for ministry the call Parakato Sedekatoshia. Enter. Enter that level. That's what I hear in the spirit. Enter. Enter that dimension. Enter that dimension. Enter that dimension. Enter that dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is? Is it victory or Victoria? I'm hearing a name like a victory or Victoria. Who is that? Please very quickly want to pray for the sick now. It's like you are wearing something like blue. Blue -ish. Who is that person? What's your name, madam? Victoria. Yes, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. You've been coming. Madam, look at me. God is going to change your story. Completely. Amen. I don't know you, but yes. the Lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Hold my hands. Look at me. There is bad luck on your life, my dear. Good things come, but they never stay. And the Lord is saying to take it away. Right now, be free. In the name of Jesus, I take away that spirit from your life. I set you free to move forward. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And we go in. Who is Victoria? All the victories of Victoria be made free right now in Jesus' name. Can we go in from here? Everyone open your mouth and begin to pray. Prophesy. Say, in the name of Jesus, I'm breaking forth spiritually in the name of jesus christ it's a new level for me it's a new level for me enter a new dimension enter a new dimension now in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm passing here now there is an anointing move move to the next level i'm prophesying to everybody standing here within the vicinity of this anointing step into a new dimension i release that grace now I release that grace now i stretch my hands everything that has held you down let it leave you now in the name of jesus my god look at this are you seeing the legs are rotting completely in the name of jesus be free now i command be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ look at me my dear go home and write it Good news comes for me in 12 days. Lord, lose their destinies. I'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing. Let the destiny be open now. Open now. Shabbat Sokos Kaliata. Embreketo Sasiketelikata. Jekros Kadabalako In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm standing here and I'm hearing I have called you accept my call accept my call accept my call accept my call my call is upon your life my call is upon your life stop fighting my call is upon your life that's what the Spirit of God is saying my call is upon your life accept my call my call is upon your life my mandate is upon your life my mandate is upon your life that's what God is speaking. My mandate is upon your life. You cannot fight it. It's an ordinance decided from heaven. My mandate is upon your life. 
light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle pastor lawrence speed come where is where is your wife to be come come two of you i see a grace for speed lift your hands enter that dimension now i release that grace speed to your life the lord is taking away delay go and mark it you are entering a strange level i see you climbing a ladder and the lord is saying it's time for your glory it's time for your glory light me lord light me lord light me lord collect that child quickly from kenny collect that child speed that grace collect that child in the name of jesus i'm seeing that grace a new dimension of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed hallelujah Ejimi, I'm seeing something for you. I'm seeing, please stand up. I'm seeing a bottle of oil and I'm seeing dollars. A bottle of oil and dollars. These two dimensions. The spirit and supernatural resources, that grace, the Lord is multiplying it. I'm seeing a bottle, a bottle of oil. A bottle of oil. The Lord is giving you a voice. Not only in the area of finances, but a strange demonstration of the spirit. Please be patient. We are going to pray for the sick, but tonight I, I perceive God is doing something strange. Young man, come. Come. You and this guy, two of you, come stand. Step into a new dimension. New dimension. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. This guy, just lift your hands where you are. Come. Enter a new level in the spirit. I release that grace now upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm looking at people and i'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat and the lord is saying is the spirit of prophecy lord i'm declaring right now it's happening to people right now it will come upon you like a mantle prophecy 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 from your belly from your belly prophecy i command those rivers makato sakata rivers of living water rivers 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 in the name of jesus christ this lady come you come quickly there is a grace the call of god is upon your life enter that dimension of his grace may the lord give you visitations 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 I bring you out of the cage that I see you in. I bring you out of the cage. I bring you out of the cage. I see you inside a cage. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus, by fire, I bring you out. I bring you out. Ancestry will not fight you. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are soon going to pray for the sick. Where's, where's your wife? Where is she? The Lord is saying the powers will fight no more. Come. The powers will fight no more. 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 There are ordinances fighting this family. I see it in the spirit. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus, victory is established. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus. And he's stepping to a new level of the prophetic that has always been there. 
in the name of Jesus Christ Shalabarakatus this usher lady come in the name of Jesus Christ you will begin to see things before they happen that's what the Lord is saying I should tell you God is putting something in your eyes you will see things Shata Sotosha Marikatos Kobariakata you will see things before they happen in the name of Jesus with precision with precision and with accuracy with precision with precision with precision and with accuracy where are these people that just married this lady welfare where is she now you and your wife where are they she's not around stand up let me pray for you on her behalf in the name of Jesus Christ I'm praying for your mother let the Lord perfect her but I'm praying for you something wants to take finances off your life if I don't pray for you I see great suffering in the days coming it's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet but I cancel it right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what I'm seeing right now an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of Jesus Christ a new level a new level in the name of Jesus Christ Wato where is she is she here I'm seeing a flag being raised up and the Lord is saying it's a new season I'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit the Lord is announcing you I'm declaring let that anointing come upon you a new season let that flag be raised in the name of Jesus let that flag be raised you will never never be down let that flag be raised in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we're going to pray for the sick let's just flow God you know sometimes this is this lady you come yes say for my shame say it for my shame I receive double the Lord is taking me to a new level and I receive it I lay my hands upon you in the name of Jesus the grace for a new level is released upon you right now I command it so I declare it so in Jesus name I pray this gentleman you come confusion ends now in your life I lay my hands upon you I command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of Jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ confusion ends over your life in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing I will, I will prophesy generally but I'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I'm, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but I'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify I don't care whether the resources are there or not I stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of Jesus Christ let that anointing by the Spirit make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of Jesus make it happen cameraman come I want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in Amen. you believe what I'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension of favor in the name of Jesus Christ this lady you come the Lord is saying I'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach I lay my hands upon you I'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through I command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of Jesus Christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast 
we are going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, i'm in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already please quickly you're sick in your body come quickly stand if the people cannot move just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh, god will grant grace pastor lawrence come you will join them today when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you hallelujah father in the name of jesus by the corporate anointing we pray these people have come expecting to be healed expecting to be touched i pray that your anointing will visit them right now in the name of jesus overflow one overflow two overflow three let there be a release of the corporate grace right now in the name of jesus christ we're free now in the name of jesus christ what's wrong with you my dear Huh? fracture where how long where is the leg it can't move and your hand don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please walk help this lady miracle, in the name of jesus walk my miracle here i release today. that anointing upon you right walk now my miracle, i correct your jesus. body now hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah Please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit. If they are still praying for you outside, just, just continue. Please, if your request is yet to come here, you can quickly wave it, wave it, and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly. Stretch your hands, stretch your hands. By faith, believing that God will visit you. Don't, don't stretch your hands out of unbelief. If there are requests yet to come, please let them come here quickly. Please bring them quickly. Shabakato soprakato baladabash. Unto you that answers prayers, O God, shall all flesh come. Rakato sodo brendege barakato shabradiski labaria. Endakato sata prakato jalabaria kato brendege degodos. Please pray. You are praying in the spirit. You are connecting. Lord, we are believing that we will not have to write this again. Be serious about it. Make sure you are connected by faith. Shakato kaparakato barikata sipriada balarabash. Shakata parakata paroto subrias. Lord, arise in majesty. Arise in your power. Visit the case of people. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shata prakato barakato barikate kate. Shalekate pranda kata barakatosh. Eketo kaparoka tapariata ba. Lord, let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus. Let this be the last time. Shabakata pakata 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 pakata. Endeketo rakato shada pragada baladaba. Lord, we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven, visit your people. Shabakata parada baroto soto predegete. 
Legataka to brand the de pressure the belly the bush. Hallelujah. 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 Please respond with a resounding amen in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, this is not a ritual. I stand on behalf of your people. Lord, these requests represent different dimensions of demonic Jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny. Father, as I step upon this, let this be symbolic of the ark going around Jericho. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen, you're going to shout Jesus, we're going to shout Jesus seven times. Are we together? As a prophetic act over this, I'm going to guide you and you will shout it. For every one shout, let it represent one day going around Jericho. That at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is, if you don't believe, you will never, never see the salvation of God. But for believers, you'll be surprised. Father, that you hearken to this prophetic act. I know God, I stand leading your people as we shout that name, the name of our high priest who has been exalted above the Aaronic priesthood, above any kind of priesthood. Are you ready now? I'll call the number and you shout Jesus. Are you ready? Number one. Number two. Crumbling every mountain. Number three. Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba, I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Jesus. Number five. Number six. I put an anointing on this seven shout. Let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain. In the name of Jesus. Number seven. Jesus. I decree and declare unto you prepare for strange testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ some of you even before you get to your homes or where you came from you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please lift your hands let's take the prophecy and then we'll round up every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life shame and reproach some of you is a pattern across your family members in the name of Jesus Christ I command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever hallelujah I release over your life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life hallelujah I decree and declare that every garment he saw Joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck attracting all kinds of things the bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i tear off that garment from your life i tear off that garment from your life garment of reproach i tear it off from your life i tear it off from your life in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare divine direction lord what do i do where do i go to tonight 
by dreams and visions and strange encounters i provoke divine direction to come to your direction in the name of jesus christ master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and succeed i anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of jesus christ every door that has refused to open your parents tried it refused to open the bible says lift up your heads O ye gates and be ye lifted O ye not doors ancient doors i come against every ancient door and every gate swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus every helper that must arise tonight not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by god to rise up and come to your aid i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of jesus i direct their eyes to you i say it again whoever has what it takes to help you i direct their hearts to you the same mystery that bound jonathan and david i declare wherever your helper is let it be as it were for jonathan and david in the name of jesus christ all those in ministry here i prophesy to you a strange unction upon the work on your hands step into a new direction step into a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will god deliver us i declare that your weeping has endured enough i prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of jesus christ those writing exams let the mercy of god the mercy that helped those who went before you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you hallelujah there are people here you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry it's not like you don't love god but revelations they don't come as they used to come again sometimes you open your bible you cannot even read to pray you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of jesus christ i launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter the lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message there are some of us the devil has cheated us by allowing our prayer altar go down in the name of jesus tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life every wrong friend in your life whether you want them to go or not in the name of jesus for the sake of god's hand upon your life i separate you with them forever this night i separate you with them forever time wasters destiny wasters i cause a separation between you and them forever we're rounding up some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness 
the bible says a lazy hand a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor i will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ even if you have seen favor in your life by the grace of god i release you to a new order of favor a new order of favor a new order of favor favor is not when you have money favor is when men arise by god to meet your needs if you have money and men don't come to your life you are not favored you are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of god have been achieved i call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of jesus christ i don't know what personal request you desire from god but i release my faith with you and i declare that by miracle service may you will only return rejoicing over that issue in the name of jesus christ anyone here trusting god for a good job not just a job that you look like a slave a job with honor in the name of jesus i agree with you between now and next miracle service may god bless you with a job that will launch you to a new dimension everyone in business here the god factor the favor factor the help factor the ebenezer factor i release it upon your business i release it upon your field of endeavor in the name of jesus christ the bible says where thou hast been rejected so that no man will pass through you it says i will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations i decree and declare may your gates be continually open now i want to pray a prayer that may be very strange for some of us i want to pray that somebody will give you money listen hold on listen we are not money mongers this is not some carnal thing there are some of you this is what you need you don't need advice you don't need counseling you just need help straight help i pray for you you will be surprised it will look like a dream i pray for you not a helper not access thank god for it but a helper that will come with the financial resource to help you i stretch my hands and i release it upon you in the name of jesus christ the anointing for miracles help that guy the anointing for signs the anointing for wonders whether you are called in ministry or not in the name of jesus may you carry it in your spirit from today begin to reproduce a new order of signs and wonders and finally i pray for you whatever needs to be done for your family members to rejoice in the lord between now and the next 30 days whatever needs to be shaken whatever needs to be overturned in the name of jesus christ joy for your family members joy to your family members in the name of jesus christ let it be so in the name of jesus christ and for every for every worker here in the name of jesus christ 
after tonight rise with a new level of evidence become a testament not just a testament of a believer in Christ but a testament that you belong to this spiritual family the grace to prove it let it be released upon you in the name of Jesus whoever fights you may he find himself fighting himself whoever fights your family may they fight themselves they will point the knife at you and hurt themselves in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaskade baskana kata branda kate kato. Kate branda kata pako tosko tobe kate kate kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.